Good morning, everyone. In the previous episode, I talked about the Italian invasion of Greece that went nowhere, although by early 1941, Greece was running out of resources. British assistance was needed, but Hitler was fearful of their presence on the Balkan Peninsula, so he decided to help out his Italian ally. As the Yugoslav government was removed at the same time, both countries were invaded. While Italian troops were stuck in Albania, trying to push back the advancing Greek forces, many important events took place in Europe. Hitler's plan to unite his old and new allies and break the British Empire failed, so Germany was preparing for the invasion of the Soviet Union, but a small contingent, the Africa Corps, was sent to Libya to prevent total defeat there. Hitler tried to persuade Yugoslavia to join the tripartite pact, promising to give them Salonika in Greece. Prince Paul's government agreed, but two days later, on the 27th of March 1941, a coup d'etat replaced them with a pro-allies cabinet, putting Peter II on the throne. Although the new government promised to honor previous commitments, demonstrations took place in Belgrade, so nobody was fooled. Neighboring countries were quickly convinced to join the German invasion. Mussolini was eager to fight, although his forces were tied down in Albania, while Romania already had German troops on its soil and Bulgaria wanted to retake Macedonia. The Hungarian leadership was divided. The country had signed a treaty of eternal friendship with Yugoslavia in the previous December, and while Prime Minister Teleki objected to Hungary's participation, as he didn't want Britain to break off diplomatic relations, Chief of Staff Hendrik Wert was strongly in favor, and Regent Miklos Horthy wanted to regain more territory. Teleki's subsequent suicide did not change their opinion, although Horthy signaled to Hitler that Hungarian forces would act only after Yugoslavia ceased to exist as a unified state. Germany sent five panzer, two motorized, two mountain and ten infantry divisions to the region, along with smaller units and 750 aircraft. Italian 2nd Army under General Vittorio Ambrosio and 9th Army with General Pirzio Piroli would join from Istria and Albania with 22 divisions, but Bulgaria would also participate in the campaign, especially since 12th Army and 1st Panzer Group were already there, preparing for the invasion of Greece. In the north, Hungarian 3rd Army consisted of two motorized, 10 infantry and two cavalry brigades, with a parachute battalion, some aircraft and the Danube flotilla for support. They were eager to retake the regions of Bacca and Banat, although Banat was desired by Romania. Yugoslav forces consisted of 28 infantry and three cavalry divisions, some independent regiments, fewer than 120 modern aircraft, notably IK-3 and ME-109 fighters and Blenheim bombers, along with three destroyers and four submarines and some smaller vessels on the Danube. They had two tank battalions, one of which was equipped with outdated Renault FT tanks, while the other had more modern R-35s. A single tank company had eight Škoda T-32 tank hunters. The army was not fully mobilized, at the time of the invasion, only 11 divisions were in place, in seven armies, spread out along the border, making it next to impossible to prevent a breakthrough. They had food for two months, medical supplies only for a few weeks, not to mention that most ethnic minorities were not ready to fight for a Serb Yugoslavia. The invasion started on the 6th of April, with the bombing of Belgrade, which continued in the next few days, resulting in 4,000 dead. German forces attacked from Austria, Hungary, Romania and Bulgaria, targeting Nish, Skopje, Belgrade and Zagreb. Within five days, Yugoslav forces were beaten, they were either retreating to the center of the country or surrendered. On the 11th of April, Italian and Hungarian forces attacked as well, meeting little resistance. The Italians advanced along the coast and towards Ljubljana, taking Split and Dubrovnik, while Hungarian Third Army took the towns of Sabatka, Zombor and Uyvidek, 
along with the southern tip of Baranya County and the Murakas. Yugoslav reserves were sent to Nish, but continuous Luftwaffe harassment slowed down their movement. The city soon fell, removing any chance of cooperation between Yugoslav, Greek and British forces. Belgrade and Ljubljana fell on the 12th. Links between the high command and the troops were cut. The Yugoslav Air Force tried to put up some resistance, but most of their planes were destroyed on the ground, and they were ineffective against heavy German escorts that followed the attacking bomber formations. Yugoslav Third Army attempted to invade Albania. Their units did advance several kilometers, but Italian codebreakers then issued several false commands, and German units showed up in their rear areas, so retreat had to be ordered. Croatian and Slovenian units of the military rebelled, German troops were welcomed with open arms in Zagreb, while in Mostar clashes took place between Ustasha supporters and Serb soldiers. Yugoslav destroyers attacked the Italian enclave of Zadar, but the Italians counter-attacked and damaged several ships, along with the naval base at Kotor. Smaller monitors bombarded the airfield at Mohács, Hungary, but they were attacked by German dive bombers, sinking one of the four monitors, after which Hungarian vessels crossed the border and advanced to Belgrade. Armistice was signed on the 17th of April, with unconditional surrender of all Yugoslav troops. Losses were small on the Axis side, the Germans lost fewer than 600 men, Italian casualties were at 3,300, while the Hungarians lost 350 troops with a quarter of the parachute battalion dying in a crash. Around 350,000 soldiers were taken prisoner, fewer than 1,000 managed to escape to Greece, along with Peter II, politicians, high-ranking officers, the country's gold reserves, and a few planes and ships. The country's territory was divided up between the victors. Hungary received the Bacca and some smaller portions along its border, Germany took most of Slovenia and it occupied Serbia and the Banat, while Bulgaria got most of Macedonia. Italy took possession of Montenegro and some other parts, while an enlarged Croatian state was established under the leadership of Ante Pavelic. The next step was the invasion of Greece, which was more difficult due to the presence of 62,000 British Empire troops. Most of the Greek military, 14 divisions, were concentrated in Albania, but 70,000 were still in the Metaxas line facing Bulgaria. Pressed by time, German 12th Army was split into two, and its southern elements outflanked the Metaxas line, advancing to the coast between the Greek and British forces, taking Thessaloniki already on the 9th of April, along with 60,000 prisoners. In the next few days, more panzer units advanced south through the Monastir Gap, threatening to outflank Force W, so its Australian and New Zealand troops retreated to Mount Olympus, then to the narrow pass at Fermopylae, where they held back 9th Panzer Division for three days. In the meantime, Italian 9th Army also advanced in Albania, taking 20,000 prisoners. By the 19th of April, Central Greece fell to advancing German troops that captured large quantities of British supplies and fuel. The next day, the Greek army in Epirus surrendered to the Germans, not the Italians. Its soldiers were disarmed and allowed to go home. A British rearguard attempted to hold Athens, but they were outflanked, and on the 27th of April, the capital fell with no resistance. Evacuation of all Empire forces was already ongoing. Allied convoys were repeatedly attacked by German bombers and Italian vessels. 26 ships were sunk, but 50,000 soldiers managed to escape. The island of Crete was then attacked in a massive airborne invasion in late May, but German casualties were so high that Hitler lost confidence in such operations. German and Allied forces fought for total control of the island for seven days. Evacuation was once again necessary, although the Luftwaffe suffered heavy losses. Overall, in the Greek campaign, the Germans lost around 6,000 men, while the British suffered 13,000 casualties. 
Greek and Italian losses were much higher due to the fighting in Albania. A British aircraft carrier, several battleships and smaller vessels were damaged, putting them out of action for months. Greece was subsequently divided up, Bulgaria received most of Thrace, the Germans kept most of Crete and the Greek part of Macedonia, along with Athens and Piraeus, while Italy occupied most of the country and most islands. They kept their possessions until September 1943, Italy's surrender. Thank you for watching, see you in the next episode!